This program is being telecast live. Everywhere in Ghana, people are listening to this program as we speak. People are listening to this program for 46 African countries. People are listening to this program for South America. People in Europe are listening to this program. Africans, wherever you are, Africans, wherever you are, South America, Europe, everywhere, the time has come for us to come together, to hold hands, to move shoulder to shoulder, to crush the system of oppression and exploitation. We can't take it anymore, and the time to act is now. from working together. Why can't we work together? If all of us claim to be incomized, why are we working in a fragment? What is wrong with us? Why can't we work together? The time has come to make the clarion call that all progressive forces in Ghana, in Africa, and everywhere need to come together to engage in that relentless battle which was led by America Cabral. To engage in that struggle which was led by Wudi Bukata, to engage in that struggle which was led by Sekuturi, and to struggle until final victory comes. We can do it and we must do it. <laughs> Comrades, we do not gather here to celebrate Nkrumah for nothing. We have gathered here to celebrate Nkrumah because there is still work to be done. Today, on the island of Gabogesia, is that how they call them? The United States still is establishing military bases on the island of Gabogesia. We have to keep them out of Gabogesia. It is our responsibility. That is an island of Africans. And we have a responsibility to decolonize the islands. Today, as we gather here, Morocco, Morocco is behaving us, not like us, an imperial power, and is trampling on the rights of the people of Western Sahara. We must stand shoulder to shoulder with the people of Western Sahara in their struggle for national liberation, in their struggle to overcome the Moroccan occupation so that the people of Western Sahara can build their own independent state. That is our responsibility. That is why we are here. We are here today in full solidarity with the people of Palestine, struggling against and resisting Zionist oppression. We are here today because we know that what the people of Palestine faced is not substantially different from what our brothers and sisters faced in South Africa. The frontiers of apartheid have shifted, and we will confront those frontiers and remove those frontiers and build that brand new Africa of freedom and prosperity. That is our charge, and we will do it. We are here today at a time when West Papua is still suffering colonialism. We stand with the people of West Papua in that confrontation. We are here today, and we are reminded by what Nkrumah said on the eve of our independence that the independence of Ghana is meaningless unless it is linked with the total liberation of the African continent. Not many people understand this. Some don't understand it. That is the boldest internationalist statement I ever heard in my life. We have struggled for independence. Nkrumah has been in prison. People have died. Then when we were just about to get independence, Osage people say this independence is nothing. If it is not linked to the total liberation of the African continent, our independence only becomes meaningful within the context of the total liberation of the African people. 
We we'll still stand with the Kuma on that. We are still together. We still believe in the principles of internationalism. We are still committed to that principle of internationalism. And we will never waver from committing it. So we must fight for this power. We deserve power. We are a nation and make this land stronger. Now the children and the future can lose them in this hour. We remember your morning fighters. Please if you like this video, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget the notification button.